In these problems, we have some polynomial functions, and we're supposed to find all of the zeros. In this case, we're given one of them, which is going to be a nice head start for us. So how should we approach this problem? Well, I notice this is a cubic function. So I think if we take this zero that we know is at negative 4, and we use synthetic division, we'll get a quadratic out of that, and then we can find the other roots from the quadratic a little more easily. So let's try that. I'll set this up for synthetic division. We're going to divide by negative 4. Let's see, so negative 4, so that's negative 1. It's negative 3, sorry, positive 3, and that would be a negative 12 and remainder of 0. Great, so here we've got our quadratic. This is x squared minus x plus 3. And I think I'll use the quadratic formula to figure this one out. It doesn't look like it factors. So we've got negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, so that's going to be 12. And what you'll notice is we're going to get a negative number under the radical sign here. Oops, and this is all over 2a. So we've got negative 1 plus or minus, and this is the square root of negative 11, but we're going to factor out the negative 1, the square root of negative 1, and make it i. So this is plus or minus i times the square root of 11 over 2. So we can write the roots now as negative 1 plus i times the square root of 11 over 2, negative 1 minus i times the square root of 11 over 2, and the one we were given in the first place, negative 4. So those are all the zeros of that function. Let's try one more. So this one says find all the real and complex zeros of the polynomial. And it doesn't give us a head start. So we're going to have to um, do some synthetic division and just cast around. Luckily, we can use our um, rational zeros theorem to know that the factors here will be uh, factors of 20. So let's give it a shot. Uh, we'll set this up. And what would be a likely candidate here? I'm going to try a negative 2, see what happens. Oh, that's looking good. So that's a positive 20. So we found one. We've got negative 2 as a 0. Now let's see, what should we try next? I think I'm going to try a 2. Ah, uh, yes, perfect. Oh, we got very lucky here. All right, so we've got two of our zeros, negative 2 and 2. And now we've got our quadratic here. So this is x squared plus 4 plus, sorry, plus 4x plus 5. And we can use the quadratic formula to figure out these, which I think are going to be some complex roots. So let's figure it out here. So negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So it looks like under the radical sign we're going to have a negative 4. Oops, over 2a. Uh, so we're going to have a negative 4 under the radical sign. So this makes this negative 4 plus or minus, well, this, we can factor out the negative 1, square root of a negative 1, that's i. And then the square root of 4 would be 2. So plus or minus 2i. And that's all over 2. So we can simplify that to negative 2 plus or minus i. So now our roots are going to be two, negative 2 plus i, negative 2 minus i. And then we had 2 and negative 2 from our synthetic division. So those are all the zeros of that polynomial.